What does the M say? M, M, Mamba. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. We are about to make some candied pecans this afternoon. The kids are finishing up their schoolwork, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these started. They take an hour, so you have to put them in the oven for 15 minutes, take them out, stir them up, and do that three more times. What you want? I don't think he knows what he wants. He's just trying to find something. Ooh, a bowl. So yeah, we're gonna make the candy pecans today. I told y'all, I think it was yesterday's video, I'm gonna be making some candy pecans, different little mini Christmas loaves of bread. So I got these little things here. They are so cute. So I'm gonna put these up and we're gonna go ahead and get started on these pecans today. I'm probably gonna be doing these tomorrow if I have time. It's gonna take a little while because I'm making several different ones. So I'm gonna put these up. The original recipe that I'm gonna have in the description box for y'all makes only one pound of pecans. So if you wanna make more than a pound, just you know double it according to however much you wanna make or triple it or whatever. So we have the egg whites in there. Now I'm gonna put some water. We're just gonna whisk that together. So you want to whisk them until they're frothy, so we have nice frothiness going on there. Now we're going to pour in the pecans. Now in this bowl we're going to put the sugar, cinnamon, and salt. So now we're just coating the pecans with the cinnamon sugar mixture and we're gonna put these on the pan. All right, so they go in the oven 15 minutes at 250. Then we take them out, stir them, do that three more times. So they'll be in there for a full hour. These are what I have for the candy pecans. Well, no, I'm sorry. This is their little penguin um, ornaments that they're gonna be making. I got all of this from Dollar General. This little truck container here, it was $2. Whoops, it was $2. And then this one was also $2. I love how it has the clear top, so you're gonna be able to see the candy pecans in there. And this little basket here. And I got two different kinds of tissue paper to use. Also from Dollar General. These were a dollar and this was a dollar. First batch of candy pecans is done. One more or two more to go, probably two more. But these are so cute. So I have another one of these that has a snowman with the Christmas tree on the back. And then a couple more of these containers. And I only got one of these because I didn't know if I would really like it as much as these two, but I do I actually, I think I like it better because you can tie it with the little bow and that's just adorable. Homemade chicken noodle soup is going down tonight, and y'all never gonna believe this. Y'all are never gonna believe this. You're never gonna believe this junk. We are gonna make noodles, egg noodles. We're gonna do the copycat. We're copycats again. Again, we're copy. We're cotton picking copycat. <laughs> we're cap. We're copycat. We're copycatting 
this old boy right here again. Like it's almost gonna be almost like a noodle dumpling. That's noodle what we're dumps. doing. Noodle dumps. Noodle dumps. Numplings. We're doing we're doing noodle dumps tonight, and uh, <laughs> we're doing noodle dumps on you. They're coming from Kent Rollins. Right there it is. It's a good comfort food. We're picking to warm you up with these chicken and noodle dumplings. What they called again, mama? Noodle These little noodle dumps right here gonna get all over you, buddy. Sissy is excited. She's helping me with the noodle dumps. We need poultry seasoning. It's gonna be in one of the little short seasoning things. And one egg is what you can get, and salt and pepper. Jonah is over here counting all this change he's been saving, and we're guessing how much it is. I guessed around $24. This is gonna be one of them comfort foods, sure enough comfort foods. And what's gonna happen is, you're gonna feel like you're going to grandma's house. To grandma's house we go. Let's get to chopping some vegetables. There you go, we got the celery all chopped up. Tonight I'm gonna be using a white onion on you. I know we like the purple ones, the red ones, whatever y'all wanna call them. Now this one right here ain't looking like it's gonna... Yeah, I think it had a bad spot on it. Now this ain't gonna be pleasing to the soup. That in there ain't smelling good, brothers and sisters. Angles let me down on this one. We got another one right here. I want to finely dice these onions. I don't want them to be kind of big. I want them to be really, really almost, I want to dice them good. So I'm going to set my carrots over here on my other chopping board. I love these carrots with these bug bunny tails on them. You can use anything for a universal top. Whatever you want to do. A lot of people overcomplicate that. I don't. I grab whatever's there. Boogie. Move it out of the way. And let her keep going. We're on the home stretch now. This chicken noodle soup will be done in just about 30 minutes. We're putting in a lot of chicken broth. Chicken. Go on oh, in. jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in the one horse open sleigh. Dashing through the snow in the one horse open sleigh. Over the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bobtails ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to laugh and sing a sleighing song tonight. That's probably the best chicken noodle soup I've ever eaten in my whole life. It's really good. Mm. Are we doing hide and seek? Count to three. Ready? One, two, three. Go find her. Okay, y'all, we have finished eating. And I must say, this is the most delicious chicken noodle soup I've ever had in my entire life. And I don't even like chicken noodle soup. So that says a lot. After we clean up and everybody gets ready for bed, we're coming back in here and we're gonna watch A Christmas Carol and make these cookies because the kids cannot wait any longer. We've still gotta make our homemade sugar cookies too. And you know it's Christmas when the snow starts to fall. Then you know it's Christmas for the children above all. Then you know Christmas, cause Santa's on his way, we'll stand under the mistletoe, and then it's Christmas Day, the joyful times we witness, forever stays with us, soon Rudolph hears his whistle, and 
gathers all his friends When Santa and his missus Rob's the finest